Hey Puppy Trades, wanted to do a video update on TWLO, Okta, and Datadog. Okay, so these three stocks are in the software and cloud computing sector. And I believe, you know, these three stocks, as well as many other of the neighboring stocks in this sector, like Zoom, Zscaler, uh, CrowdStrike, Fastly, all showing very bullish buying opportunities right now. And that seems a little strange if you're a retail investor because you've probably been told, hey, stay away from the software sector, stay away from cloud computing, stay away from anything that benefited from the stay at home you know, movement of 2020 because Pfizer has announced a coronavirus vaccine. Okay, so as a technical trader, you don't listen to a news story like, oh, you know, Pfizer announced a coronavirus vaccine development, you know, that's going to change my outlook. But if you're a technical trader, what you do is you acknowledge that most of retail traders believe that they should not be buying stocks that have been extremely strong all year. Okay. And that is kind of technical evidence. Okay. Because retail statistically is normally wrong. The reason the retail is normally wrong because retail will always invest once they're told why something is happening, right? So Tesla is going up because of a stock split retail wants to buy. All right, that's a bad time to buy Tesla. You know, all my friends went over to, oh, I'm buying Tesla right now. It's at 1900, 2000 pre-split. I'm like, ooh, you know, you better be a, a long-term investor. All right, all my friends, you know, or all of retail didn't want to own Tesla at 700 pre-split because Elon Musk tweeted Tesla stock price too high. Okay, no one wanted to own Facebook at 207 because there was an ad boycott. Okay, so what I what I'm saying is when retail is telling you why, you buy. All right, perfect example. Just this week, retail saying don't invest in spy, don't invest in QQQ. You know, there's going to be an election. There's going to be a uncertainty. Ooh, the boogeyman. Nope. Same story as always. You know, inflation wins. The rich people with assets, you know, continue to make money off of, you know, the, the diminishing value of the dollar. Okay. As well as, you know, economic production, movement, stuff like that. But it's all about, you know, currency devaluation. Anyway, that's a whole other story. When retail is telling you, don't own Facebook because of an ad boycott, Facebook goes up $100 in a month and a half. Okay, when retail is telling you don't own Tesla at 700 because Elon Musk tweeted something, Tesla triples in you know two or three months uh, to from 700 to 2100. Okay, when retail is telling you don't you know invest in SPY because of you know the election, you know Joe Biden's gonna win, it's gonna crash the market, SPY gaps to an all-time high, the trading day after we find out. Joe Biden's announced president. And so when retail is telling you why, you look at the chart, it's normally going to tell you to buy. Okay. And that's exactly what I believe right now is happening. Retail is afraid to touch TWLO. Retail is afraid to touch Zscaler, Zoom, Okta, Datadog. And the charts are saying screaming buy, in my opinion. Okay. This is not investment advice. This is just for my personal notes. You know, you can agree with it, disagree with it, you know. I don't care. Cool. All right. So retail doesn't want you to own TWLO or Datadog or Okta, which has been outperforming all year because there was a coronavirus vaccine development. Okay. You know, whatever you think about that, you think about that. That's honestly the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Okay. But anyway, TWLO goes on a run right here that is four and a half months. Okay. And then it has an ABC correction with declining volume confirming that this is bullish consolidation. Okay. Wave one, ABC, wave two. How do we know that this wave two correction is complete? How do we know that this ABC correction is complete? Because we've already closed above this high. Okay. So once you close above the top of wave one, or, you know, also the top of wave A, you know, that's confirmed the, com the, the completion is finished, okay? So we have an ABC correction, wave two. So then once we complete wave two in this large degree, this is the largest degree because it's from the March low. Once we complete a wave two, 
then we're in wave three, okay? So wave three, there's a few characteristics. Wave three is explosive. Wave three is quick. And wave three is the biggest wave that exists in LA wave theory. Okay, so we are in wave three right now in TWLO. This is wave one of wave three. This is wave two of wave three. So that means that now we are starting wave three of wave three. Okay, that's extremely bullish. That means that we have a finished and complete nest. Okay, so know that these, you know, time targets, these price targets are very conservative, right? Because what I will do is I'm taking the length of this move and placing it here. Okay, but actually, you know, we're going to go further because wave three is not just the length of wave one. It's 1 1.618 times the length of wave one because wave three is the biggest wave. And then it's followed by a wave four, you know, sideways consolidation period, then a wave five higher, which is typically the length of wave one. Okay. But anyway, long story short, these price targets are conservative. This is a four to five week move. So if this low of 254 holds, then this is going to be a move that hits the one to one extension in at least four to five weeks. Okay. So if TWLO is above 254, in the next four to five weeks, I expect it to hit 300 and 78. Okay, so mid to late December, TWLO is expected to reach 378. It's expected to go back to the meeting of this pitchfork. And it's expect actually expected to go a lot higher, okay? Because this is wave three of wave three, wave four of wave three, wave five of wave three, and then we have wave four of wave three, and then, you know, we have wave five. We're going to go well into the 500s for TWLO, okay? So this is a short-term trade setup, but what you could do, you could take the length of this move, place it here, and you're conservatively going to 444, because remember, it's not just the length of this move, it's 1.618 times the length of this move, and then, you know, for the short term, it's 1.618 times the length of this move. Okay, so TWLO, I'm expecting us to reach 378, so, uh, so long as 254 holds as the low. Okay, so 254 is the stop loss for this trade. This is my personal trade, not investment advice, just for me. I'll be using 254 as a stop loss. And this low right here of 216 is the invalidation. Okay, so as long as we're above, you know, 216, I'm still expecting the TWL is going to be extremely bullish. Okay, so even if we do break below 254, you know, I would expect... We go a little from the pitchfork, go right back to this lower bound, go right back to this median. Okay, short term, next four to five weeks, I'm expecting TWLO to reach 378 as long as 254 holds as the low. Okay, Datadog. Now, Datadog and Okta, I already went through the wave theory on TWLO. I'm not going to get into it for Datadog and Okta for a few reasons. You know, one is time, but also I don't need to. Okay, because we have all the classical evidence that we need right now in the form of this bull flag with declining volume confirming bullish consolidation a volume spike to give us a timing signal and now we have a beautiful selling climax okay so a selling climax is when a stock's kind of already been beaten and then there's a massive you know volume bar this is exhaustion okay even if this stock wanted to go down further there's no more sellers to do it okay, okay? so uh, this stock goes on a, this run, let's see, this run is from 7.9 to 3.17. It's about a three and a half, four month run. So we're just going to say four months from now, we expect this equal legs target to be reached. Okay, so Datadog ultimately is going to conservatively reach 142, in my opinion. We're going to do a little shorter term, more conservative setup for now. Same thing with TWLO. This is a four to five week move. So this is going to be a four to five week move. Okay. And the equal legs target for Datadog is that it, it will reach 122 in the next four to five weeks. So long as the low of 79 holds. Okay. So if 79 holds is the low. I'm expecting Datadog to reach 122 in the next four to five weeks. I'm expecting Datadog to go to the meet, to the lower bound of this pitchfork. And then eventually it will reach the meeting of this pitchfork somewhere around 142 because that is the bull flag equal legs target. Okay. Declining volume confirms bullish consolidation. Clearly a bull flag. Volume breakout gives us a timing signal. 
selling climax, Andrew's pitchfork with beautiful reactions, median still hasn't been reached, lower bound, tons of reactions. So we're heading back to the lower bound, then we're gonna head to the median. So the target is 122 in four to five weeks, so long as Datadog holds above 79. Okay, so when I say hold, I'm talking about a daily close below 79 would trigger a stop loss for this trade, okay? So everyone's very clear about that. And remember, that's conservative too, because we're expecting the median of this pitchfork to be reached. And we can already see that even if data dog went straight to the median, you know, we're talking at minimum, you know, 130, 120. And that's just if it went to the median in a direct line. Every day that data dog is sideways and not hitting the median, the median target is going to be higher. Okay, so 122 in the next four to five weeks, stop loss below 79. All right, last one is Okta. Okta, very similar setup. Uh, to Datadog, this is also a very similar setup to TWLO, you know, it's a little bit of, of both, you know, kind of like TWLO and Datadog had a little chart, baby, okay, and I say that because we have one, A, B, C, two, one, two, so that's why it's like TWLO, exact same thing, I believe this is an Elliott Wave Nest, one, A, B, C, Wave two, one, A, B, C, Wave two, okay, so I believe that we are starting a Wave three of Wave three in Okta, but also like Datadog, I don't need the voodoo, okay? I don't need the wave theory because this is the bull flag. And this is a pitchfork with beautiful reactions, okay? And one thing we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna talk about if you have a confirmed ABC correction, right? A wave one, ABC, wave two, you connect the wave one low with the wave one high and the wave two low, and you will have, if you have an actual ABC completed correction, you will have a valid pitchfork, okay? So if you have a wave one, an ABC correction, and you actually do have a wave two completion, you're gonna have a valid pitchfork. And we have a valid pitchfork right here. The median still hasn't been reached. So I'm extremely excited. I'm extremely confident in, in this trade setup right here, personally. All right, this is not investment advice. My personal notes. All right, I'm sharing them with you. You, you like it, you like it, you don't, you know, find a new guru. I don't care. Okay, this move is about three and a half, four months. So we're expecting three and a half, four months from this breakout that. Okta will at minimum hit the equal X target of 322. Okay, so for Okta, in the next three and a half months, I'm expecting Okta to rally at least 100 points and hit 322 and also hit the median of this pitchfork. Okay, so Okta, you know, TWL and Datadog, we, we did a little more shorter term. For Okta, we're going to do the full swing. Okay, we're going to do a three, three and a half month swing trade right here. I'm expecting one. A, B, C, two, one, A, B, C, two, we're in wave three of wave three. So I'm expecting an explosive move higher, okay? And remember, same thing as TWLO, this is a conservative target, okay? Because this target is just the length of this move. But remember, because this is the wave three, we're actually expecting it to be 1.618 times the length of wave one, okay? So the octa target, is that it will hit 322 in the next three, three and a half, you know, four months. Mid-February, you know, sometime in February, at the very minimum, you know, probably in January, we're expecting Okta to reach 322. We're expecting the median of this pitchfork to continue to act as a magnet, and we're expecting this bull flag breakout and back test to hold, okay? Bull flag, ABC correction, Breakout and back test. Okay, declining volume confirms bullish consolidation. For Okta, we're gonna use this low right here of 203 as a stop loss. The invalidation level is all the way down here at 185. So the stop loss is 203, and we're expecting Okta to reach 322 in the next three, three and a half, four months. Okay, so three, three and a half, four months. You know, late January, early February. I'm expecting Okta to be at 322 at the absolute minimum. Remember, that's the absolute minimum because we take the length of wave one and we multiply 1.618 to get the length of wave three. This 322 target is just by taking the length of wave one and placing it at this low, okay? So this is the bull flag. Even if you don't believe in wave theory, this is the bull flag. Even if you don't believe in wave theory, Datadog is just the bull flag. And all three of these, whether you don't believe in wave theory you know, bull flags or not, they all have very beautiful pitchforks, okay? Very beautiful pitchforks that I am expecting the median to be reached for all three of these.